Hey Golf Pass, I'm Natalie Filler, and if you're somebody who struggles with the chipping yips, I am here to help you. So it's a really tough thing I know, and it gets in your head when you're on the golf course, and a lot of you, if you have this problem, probably don't even want to hit a chip shot. Maybe you putt from 50 plus yards away from the green to completely avoid it. I want to help you fix this problem because it is fixable. So what I would first suggest is tossing out that 58 degree wedge. Don't use a high lofted club. What I have here is a pitching wedge and a hybrid. So we're going to talk through a few drills and a few different shots that you can use in place of that chip shot so that you don't even have to fear miss hitting it. So we're going to start with the pitching wedge here. And what I want you to do is really make sure that you're gripping the club in the palms of your hands. So when we're making a full swing with an iron, we want to make sure we're actually holding it more in the fingers of your hands because that allows your wrists to work properly in your swing. But if you're somebody who struggles with the chipping yips or just hitting poor pitch shots in general, you can go ahead and really feel like you hold the grip more in the palms of your hands here. So the grip is running through maybe more like the lifeline of your hand versus you're sitting in your fingers. And that's going to eliminate a lot of unneeded wrist action on this shot. So this is more of a bump and run shot that we're talking about here where the ball is going to probably stay a little bit lower to the ground. But again, if you can really work on holding it more in the palms of your hands versus in the fingers, that will help you stop having that yip type move where you get a little bit uncomfortable when we get back to the golf ball. So that's number one. You can hit some shots like that. You can even play like that on the golf course. The second drill that you could do that I find incredibly helpful for anybody who struggles with this problem is to actually go cross-handed. So I putt cross-handed, but that's for a different reason. Here, if you can kind of go cross-handed, it's taking that wrist action out of it to an extreme. So we're not going to see any unnecessary wrist action here if we put that, for me, I'm a right-handed player, that left hand lower on the club, and it keeps the club face very stable as we go back and through the shot versus having any issues with flipping or an inconsistent club face. So we can actually hit a few like that as well. Let's go ahead and hit one here. So I'm going to get set up. That left hand's a little bit lower, and then I'm just really turning back and turning through. Very small swing. So as you can see, the club stays low to the ground. The ball will roll out just a little bit, but we're not having any of that unnecessary wrist action here that can cause those miss hits. Your last option, which I love, this is one of my favorites. You can use a hybrid, and you can use this shot from as far as 50 or 60 yards away from the green, as long as you don't have anything to go up and over. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grip down to almost the shaft on your hybrid here. I'm gonna do a normal grip, but you can do the same thing as I was saying before, where we grip more in the palms of your hands or even go cross-handed just to keep the club face more stable. I'm gonna go ahead and grip down here at the bottom. I'm going to stand pretty close to the golf ball. And then it's just like hitting maybe a 10 foot putt. Nice and slow back and through. You don't need a whole lot of speed to hit this shot. And this will help you not miss the golf ball and get these shots closer to the hole. But as you can see, you can take a very small swing and have the shot end up relatively close to the hole without a lot of room for error. So these are three great options with a couple of great drills that you can do if you're somebody who has been struggling with the yips around the green. Golf Pass members, you can leave questions and comments below or head over to Golf Pass for more content.